pestilence. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the Holder of Pestilence. At this point, the worker should gag and try not to vomit. After several minutes of this, the worker will finally give in, vomiting into a waste paper basket. They will then stand and lead you down the hallway. You will reach a door slightly ajar, but you must not touch it. To do so would invite its curse into your bones, and your fate would be sealed. Instead, demand that the worker open it for you. Pass quickly through the door. The holder is waiting. You will find yourself in a darkened room. The door behind you will slam shut. Again, to touch it would be to invite the rot. Instead, walk ahead, in the dark, until you reach what feels like a stone altar. Reach over until you find a groove. At this point, you must think only of home and your friends and the people you love, as something cold and wet will slide momentarily over your face. After the deathly embrace is over, you will find a groove has split open, and the altar now reveals a staircase. Descend it, taking care not to trip. The holder wouldn't want you damaged before you meet. Finally, at the bottom of the stairs, it is vital that you don't step off the final step. Instead, look as hard as you can until you see footsteps cleared among the ichor and rot coating the floor. Step only in these, as to touch the rot is to join it. As you make your way forward, you will finally come to a stone sarcophagus. Few people realize this, but the word sarcophagus means eater of flesh, and this is exactly what this coffin is. You must raise the stone lid and lower yourself into it. Hold still. It's sleeping. After a few moments, the room will be lit. Ambient light slowly filling the room. You must remain still. If it wakes, all is lost. After the room is lit to its brightest, you will hear a tapping noise, like someone is walking into the room. However, you will be unable to hear them. As the footsteps get nearer and nearer, you will hear a rasping voice speaking in an unknown language. At this point, most seekers will find it important not to focus on the words, as they tell of truths mortals cannot comprehend. Finally, the speaker is silent. The base of the sarcophagus will rise, and it is now safe to move. The holder is standing here. His skin is gangrenous and blackened, and his eyes are sunken. He will speak to you, in your native language, and ask you a series of questions about yourself. Answer truthfully, and your mind will remain intact. The holder will ask you to hold out your left hand. He will reach out and place something cold into your palm, and then close your hand over it. For his ravaged appearance, the holder is not an evil being, and wishes you luck. A door is now behind you. Passing through it will bring you back to the institution through which you passed. The jewel in your hand is object 115 of 538. Dare you wield the rot stone unprotected 